nurse friends. I am Nurse Meg from NurseMegRN.com and this video is all about dosage calculations. It will specifically be towards nursing students. This may help you in school, um, but I'm always, always talking to brand new nurses because I wanna make sure that you know your stuff so that you are safe and confident and you love your job. When we are confident in our ability to do our job, we love our job, we're gonna be burnt out less, we're gonna find our limits and know where our boundaries are, and you're just gonna thrive in this profession. And that's why I do what I do. That's why I made this YouTube channel, that's why I made my TikTok and my Instagram. I'm just trying to provide value into your life. So let's talk about dosage calculations, specifically for like IV stuff or IV push. To be honest, most times, the computer and the pharmacist will be doing your dosage calculations. Not in school, they're gonna make sure you know it, um, and you're always gonna wanna like double, triple check like the pharmacist and the computer just so you don't, you know, or redonda yourself. That's the word, that was her name. God bless her. So, let's talk about it. Now I wanna talk um, really quickly about like your basic kind of form of how you're gonna make it into a calculation and then we'll do an example. And if you wanna even put examples of questions that you get in school down below in the comments or even just like DM them to me on Instagram, I'll work them out for you and maybe I'll make like, like a TikTok of me working it out to show you like step by step but that's also what I'm kind of do, gonna do here in this video. So I'll show you th three different kinds. Uh, I made this graphic. Um, basic dosage calculations, obviously you're gonna be putting um, fractions. Don't freak out when I say math words. We're gonna be making fractions and multiplying and things like that. So usually, if it's just like a basic dosage calculation, you're gonna be like, all right, what did the doctor order? Like, what is the actual order? What is the desired dose? Doctor's like, give this. And you're like, okay, this is the order. I'm given 25 milligrams. And make a little fraction line. Under that is gonna say, what is your amount on hand? Okay, it only comes in 50 milligram tabs, or 50 milligram bags, times the volume. Like, let's say it's like 50 milligrams per 100 mLs or something. But the order is 25. So how many mLs are you gonna give? You're gonna give 50, because it comes 50 milligrams in 100 mLs, but you only need to give 25. So it'd be like, set it up 25 over 50 times 100. So it'd be 0.5 times 100, it'd be 50. So you would give 50 mLs um, through the IV. That's kind of like a weird example because it's not gonna be perfect and also, if it was a small dose of something like that, maybe it would be like IV push, so it'd end up being like one ml or something like that. But that's what it is. Desired dose over whatever you have on hand times the volume. Now obviously, IV drips are a little bit more complicated because it's gonna be like, not just like mLs, like oh, how many mLs do I give? It's gonna be like how many micrograms per minute or something like that that you're gonna be doing. Um, so that's gonna require a little bit more uh, calculation. So you're gonna know, need to know how to convert like milligrams to micrograms and then also convert the time. Usually, you know, from like an hour to 60 minutes, you're gonna have to put that into the calculation. So I'll go over one just like that for you. Um, if somebody gives you like, oh, it's like 50 milligrams per 100 mLs, convert it to micrograms to minute. So you'd have to do like, all right, 50 times 1,000 because that converts it to micrograms um, times one hour. And then it's gonna be divided by whatever it comes in mLs times 60 to get the minute. And then you'll have micrograms per minute. And then obviously IV drips uh, sometimes are units per hour, depending on what medication you're giving. The first one offhand, obviously insulin. Um, so still you're always gonna do desire, um, like desired dose or prescribed dose over whatever you got on hand, whatever the Pixis has today, <laughs> whatever your hospital paid for, uh, what you have on hand times the volume. Um, and then always like double check the, the, the volume because it'll be um, maybe by hour, by minute, by dose or whatever it is. Um, but always remember, try to get it into your head Desired dose over what you have on hand. Order over what the Pixis gives you. And that's how you calculate it. Um, so let's do like an actual real example. Let's create a scenario like NCLEX. 
Um, your patient is um, experiencing some sort of arrhythmia. They have a high heart rate and you call the doctor and the doctor's like, I want you to give Cardizem 15 milligrams IV push right now. You're like, awesome, great. Now you go to the Pixis and you get a vial. And it says, the vial for Cardizem says it's 25 milligrams per ml. And then it has a little asterisk, a little warning label. Please read the warning labels. I don't care how much of a rush you're in. Read those labels. It says, do not exceed five milligrams per minute. So you're like, hmm, IV push, but I'm really gonna have to like pay attention because he wants 15 milligrams, but I can't just shove 15 milligrams through. My bottle says with this uh, concentration, I cannot exceed five milligrams per minute. So let's figure out how many mLs we're gonna give out of this vial first, okay? If the concentration is 25 uh, milligrams per mL. So you would set it up, remember, um, your dose, your desired dose over what you got. So um, you've got, you know, 15 um, milligrams over, let's just put X, like a little blank thing, because that's just the order, times, um, you've got 25 per ml. All right, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna divide it, right? What are we gonna get? So 15 divided by 25 is gonna be 0 0.6, 0 0.6 mLs. All right, so I know I'm gonna give 0 0.06 mLs, that's gonna give me the 15 milligrams. So how long am I gonna be like pushing this? All right, so you have the desired dose is 15 milligrams, and let's do it over like X times one minute over five milligrams. So this is gonna tell us how many minutes it's gonna take us to give this dose. So obviously um, 15 across, five across, 15 divided by five, three minutes. So we're gonna be doing 0 0.06 mLs over three minutes. Now let's reduce that or divide that even further so we know how many minutes we're gonna give. So it's gonna be 0 0.6 mLs divided by three minutes. How many milligrams or milliliters are we gonna give per minute? We're gonna be giving 0.2 mLs per minute. That is how much you will push. So you're gonna pull push the whole 0.6 mLs, which is gonna be 15 milligrams of cardizem, over three minutes at 0.2 milliliters per minute. That one's a more complicated one, but hopefully the way that I'm like writing it out will explain it and show you, and maybe you can even like screenshot it or something, and you can do it uh, yourself. So yeah, I really hope this helps you. Um, let me know if it did, if you have any other questions or you need further examples, put examples down below and I will help you out. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you wanna find more of me, please subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm to reach more uh, nurses and nursing students. And of course, come find me on social media. I'm on all the things, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all the things. I even have a Facebook group called uh, the New Nurse Support Group. So if you're a brand new nurse or you're becoming a brand new nurse and you need a little bit of support, maybe you don't have a great support system at home or at your job, come join our community. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good shift. <laughs>